Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. Today we're going to take a look at cost loading our schedule and doing some smart planning by figuring out the duration based off the volume of our concrete. So first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we have our budget at direct cost and our budget at completion columns added. To do that, you just right click in the top header there, customize columns, and you would add your columns from the available columns over to the selected. So now what we want to do is we're going to add <clears throat> a human resource and we'll call this a laborer. Now that we have our laborer, we want to add a cost to our laborer. So I go to my resources and I can go to cost and now you can see here. So I want to select this. Once I select that, I can add. Now for labor, I can give it a type of cost. So we have our different types fixed, hourly, partial and complete, daily and unit. For this, we'll just use daily and we'll give it a cost of $100. So what else I could do is I could go add a rate change on May 13th, 2021. I could say on this day, the rate is going to change from hourly or daily from 100 to 120. So on May 13th, 2021, this cost will automatically update to 120 in our schedule. So now that we have the cost, I want to go back to my resource. And here you can see as we have the name, the type, I can give a bit of a description. I can add a supplier or uh, you know, a subcontractor name, and I can update the calendar for this resource. For this example, we'll leave everything as is, and then I can say available units, there'll be three. For example's sake, I'm just gonna select all the tasks. I can right click, select all, select all tasks. Now I have everything selected. Now all I have to do is I can drag and drop, and now I have my labor assigned to all these tasks. So you'll see here is when I added the labor, you can see that the cost has been updated and now we have a cost for our schedule. So now that we have a cost, let's go down. And if we go down to our slab on deck, grade area one here, we can do some smart planning here. So let's move our focus time so we can see our building here. I'll scroll in a bit. I'm gonna select the sign resources and now let's filter and I just want to isolate select it. So now I can see as I have my three slabs on grade here, but when I select these, if I go to resource properties, I can see they have a volume. So now what I want to do is I want to see that volume and be able to build a rule to estimate the amount of time it's going to take to do these slabs on grade. So to do that, I can go to my project controls and go to synchro script. So the first one here is I have a script. What I'm asking is I'm asking it to give me the total volume. So the sum of all the, the volume of the 3D elements assigned to this task. So now I have my three tasks selected. I'm gonna go preview. It's giving me my total volume. Now I'm gonna run. So now that I've created that script, figure that out, I can go customize columns. I'm gonna type in volume here and now I can add total volume and now I can see my total volume, right? But what I wanna do is I wanna do some, do a physical quantity dependent task. So as you can see, physical quantity dependent, I don't have anything there. So again, I'm gonna to want to do my synchro script and now I'm gonna ask it to give me physical quantity. So it's gonna take that volume and it's gonna use that as a physical quantity and it's gonna do it in cubic meters. So I'm gonna preview and now I'm going to run again. So again, let's add our customized columns, physical quantity. So now let's pull in our two physical quantity columns. And as you can see here is now I have my physical quantity, the same as my volume and it's in cubic meters. So now that I have that, I wanna create a rule and I'm just gonna call this concrete. And I'm gonna say we can do 10 cubic meters per hour. So I've created this rule now, I'll go back to my Gantt. I wanna change this from fixed to physical quantity. And now I'm going to add my task rule here, concrete, and you can see it's updated based off the volume and the rule that we created. It's going to take me two days, three hours and 41 minutes. So now let's do that for the other two here. We'll change those to physical quantity and we'll give it a task rule of concrete. So now we've done a bit of smart planning here, right? We've created our duration based off the volume. So now that we have our cost assigned, let's create a baseline so we'll go baseline tasks. I'm gonna say yes, update my critical path. 
let's take a look. We can go to our reports and I can do an EVA graph here. So you can see as we go through, my plan value and my baseline value are exactly the same, right? Nothing's changed. We haven't updated anything and my earned value and actual value are zero. So now what we can do is we can go to Navigator, External Data, and now let's update our schedule. Let's grab a schedule update. So I'm gonna go synchronize from, I'm gonna find my schedule. Here's my updated schedule. Next, now I have different options of how I wanna synchronize the schedule. We're gonna leave it as the default here and I'm gonna hit synchronize. So now you can see that my schedule has been updated. And as I go through, you can see that the, the EVA graph has updated as per the schedule update and the cost assigned to the tasks.